Good morning, guys. This is five little things that I wanted to share with you to inspire you to join Weight Watchers. And some of the things that we recommend when first starting, I asked my husband to, and he gave me a couple that he thought were important as well. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. First off, I wanted to thank Skinny Jeans for Life, Davini, I think her name is, Davina. I'm sorry if I got that name wrong, but I know it's one of those. And she's in Australia. She has a YouTube channel over there, so check her out. I will list her down below first. And then Miss Anita, who is also helping her out. So thank you to those ladies for inviting me to do this collab. Let's start out with number one. The one thing that we both agreed with, my husband and I, is start with the green plan first when you're starting Weight Watchers just to get a feel for the smart points because sometimes when you first jump into zero point items, it gets kind of overwhelming is what I think. And even to change from smart points to freestyle was, was a little intimidating, I think, for me anyway. So we would recommend to start out two weeks on the green plan, if you can do it a little longer, just, in, just to get a feel for the smart points and what the smart points are. When you do go to the blue or purple plan, you kind of have those smart points in your mind, so you really get a feel for what a serving really is. So that is our first number one tip. Our second one is definitely on the top of my list is to track everything. Track every day, track everything. If you're taking a bite of this or a bite of that, track it because those points add up really, really quickly. And I know I have goofed on that many times, which allowed me to gain 20 pounds back after I lost 130 pounds. Tracking is very important. Had I not stopped tracking, I wouldn't be in the shoes that I am right now with 20 extra pounds to lose or 25. I don't even know how much it is now, but now I'm back on track again, doing well and tracking again. So definitely track your items every single day. Number three is don't let the exercise scare you. If you guys are starting out and you're at a higher weight, like 250 up to 350, whatever that weight may be, if you're higher and you're not able to exercise or if even you feel intimidated by the exercising and you feel like you just want to give up because there's just too much, like there's food and then there's exercise and you can't, you don't feel like you can do both. I felt that way. I understand totally. So I didn't exercise when I first started. I mainly focused on my food and we all know that the food is like 80% of what matters in this program. Exercise is just a small portion of that. So if you can just get your food figured out, take a few months just to do that until you're able to fit in some exercise. I do recommend getting in at least walking every day once you get over that hump though. So maybe do 30 minutes of walking every day, a couple miles is all you really need. A mile, even if you can do a mile every day, just do that because it's really good for your heart. It's a plus all around if you can get some movement in every day after you get a feel for your food though. Definitely recommend, I recommend to get the food down first before you're really intimidated by adding the exercise to your program. Don't go gung-ho all at once. Don't try and, and eat a small, small amount of food and getting an exercise, going to the gym, all that stuff gets frustrating and it makes you quit your plan. Just focus on your food first. That's my number three tip. Number four is try to stay away from eating out. Any sort of eating out, even if you think it may be healthy eating out, you don't know how they cook your items. They add a ton of salt to it and it's just not great for the plan. In my opinion, I would definitely keep eating out maybe once every two weeks. I would suggest my doctor recommended for me to eat out once a month only. And she said that should work out great for me on the beginning of my plan. And I was just losing like crazy. You can go back in my first parts of my videos from years ago. I started at my very top was 330. And then I had lost 25 when I started my YouTube channel because my first video was holding up the sign that said I lost 25 pounds. So that's where I started on YouTube. Stay away from the fast food or eating out of any sort. Number five, and I asked Corey, he gave me this response when I said, hey, what's one of your top five that you would recommend a new Weight Watcher to do? And he said, choose healthy foods over high point foods. And he's done that from day one. And you know that Corey used to weigh 
300 and I think 389 or something like that, almost 390 pounds. And he lost it just, he, he did this. He just went down, 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 and he hit goal. There was no problems. And this is his main thing that he did. He chose healthy foods over high point foods. So he ate a lot of fruits and vegetables and he ate a lot of fruit. So don't let fruit scare you. He would eat sometimes four to five fruit a day. If he felt hungry, he would grab a fruit. It, it didn't matter. And he was still losing every single week. There, had, there was like a couple weeks where he had a gain and then he bounced right back the next week. So that's one thing that I am going to work on for this month. Choose healthier options. That is my five top things and then of course an honorable mention is always always add your water and i know a lot of people are probably going to mention water but it's definitely important in your program get that water in if you weigh 300 pounds you should be getting 150 ounces of water if you weigh 200 it should be 100 ounces so they they recommend half of your body weight in ounces of water that's all i have for you today guys thank you to skinny jeans for life and anita for inviting me to do this collab and be sure to check out all of the other channels i will have them linked down below check them out because it's going to be a lot of great tips for everybody just starting out on weight watchers we will talk to you guys soon bye